Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, April 6, 2021. Number one, the second week of the Derek Chauvin murder trial began with more medical witness testimony. First up was the emergency room physician who treated George. Floyd. Minneapolis Police Chief Madaria Arredondo was next up. He said Chauvin's actions were in no way, shape, or form anything that is by policy. It's not part of our training and is certainly not part of our ethics or values. Chief Arredondo fired Derek Chauvin and the three other police officers involved in George Floyd's death. Number two, Crystal Mason is fighting for her freedom after casting a provisional ballot on Election Day 2016. The black woman and felon released on probation was sentenced to five years in prison for illegal voting in Tarrant County, Texas. Ms. Mason insists she was unaware that she was ineligible to vote. Her case is now headed for the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, the highest state court for criminal cases. Number three, the IRS will begin issuing about 30 million checks to Social Security and other government program recipients after a delay. Stimulus payments of $1,400 will be issued electronically or sent by mail via check or prepaid debit card April 7th. Payments will go to beneficiaries who did not file taxes in 2020 or 2019 and did not use the IRS non-filers online portal last year. Number four, a federal lawsuit has been filed against the city of Stockton, California and four Stockton policemen who are accused of beating 17-year-old black high school student Devin Carter. The beating left Carter with a broken nose, black eyes, and a boot print on his cheek. Two of the four officers have been fired for using excessive force. No details have been released concerning the other two officers. Number five, regulators have proposed a new statute that would exclude some community banks from the Volcker Rule. Most consumers are aware banks benefit financially from assessing fees and earned interest from depository accounts and loans, but the real money is in trading and investing. These strategies have recently come under a great deal of scrutiny and are more regulated than ever before, thanks to legislation like the Volcker Rule. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Life is a precious gift. Give thanks. Indeed. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with J. Anthony Brown as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Black Voters Matter, and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilks.com. Be informed, be empowered.